Okay, so in this problem, we're told a bowling ball traveling with a constant speed hits the pins at the end of the bowling lane 16.5 meters long. The bowler hears the sound of the ball hitting the pins 2.5 seconds after the ball is released from his hands. What is the speed of the ball, assuming the speed of sound is 340 meters per second? So we're given some information here. So first, let's understand what's going on. So this person is going to be bowling this ball with some initial velocity. We don't know what that is, but we're trying to find it. Um, and then he's going to bowl the ball, it's going to go like this, and it's going to hit these pins. We're also told the distance that this uh, lane is, so 16.5 meters. So it's going to hit the pins, and then the sound is going to travel, and it's going to, right, the bowler is going to hear it. And we know this time, it's from the, from the time it takes from them bowling it, to the sound reaching his ears is going to take 2.5 seconds. So that's kind of what's going on. We're also given the... Uh, speed of sound. So I'll call it Vs. It's equal to um, 340 meters per second. So let's kind of understand how we're going to solve this first. So I know that if I can figure out how much time it took for the ball to travel here to hitting the pins, right, how much time that took, right, we're not given that. We're given the time it takes for it to travel here and then the time it takes for it to travel back, like those two values added up. So we need to subtract the time that it took to travel back. So if we can figure out how much time that took, we can subtract it from this value, and that'll give us the time it took to travel this distance here. So however long it took to just hit the pins. And then if we divide, or if we use that uh, in combination with how long the track is, we can solve for the initial velocity. So the first thing we have to solve for is how long it took for the sound to travel here. Okay, so how do we do that? So we know how long Right, so you should know that distance is equal to velocity times time. And so we're not going to use the kinematic equations here because there's going to be no acceleration in, the, in these and they're just going to complicate it. So I'm just going to use the, this basic formula here because it makes it easier. Um, but essentially, distance equals velocity times time. So we want to figure out the time this took. We just need the distance and the speed it traveled at. So time equals distance divided by velocity. So we know the distance the sound is going to have to travel, 16.5 meters. And we know how fast the sound travels. They tell us that. It's 340 meters per second. So dividing this value, 340. Um, let me plug this in for you guys. 16.5 divided by 340, you get 0 0.0485, we'll say. So this is the amount of time in seconds that it takes for the sound to travel. So if we want just the time it took for it to go from here to there, we can take this value and subtract this because, right, so this is the total time it took, and we're just subtracting the way back, so it will give us the amount of time it took forward. So 2.5 minus 0 0.0485, let me plug this in, will give you uh, the exact value is like 2.451, we'll say. So key mind this is, or not, sorry, 2.451, uh, and then this is going to be in seconds. So this is the amount of time it took from the bowling ball to go here to there. Um, and then once again, we're going to use the same formula. So distance equals velocity times time. But in this case, keep in mind the velocity is constant throughout. There's no acceleration on this. We're assuming that at least. So the initial velocity is the same throughout, so that's why we can use this formula. So distance equals velocity times time. We know how long it takes, 2.45 seconds, and we know the distance it's going to travel, right? It's just the length of the lane, 16.5 meters. So our velocity, which is the same as the initial, is going to be the distance, which is 16.5 uh, meters, and then you're dividing by 2.451 seconds. And so I'm going to use the exact value here that I have in my calculator, um, and you're going to get about 6.73. So 6.73, and then the units are going to be meters per second, which is what we wanted, velocity. So the initial velocity, or the speed at which it is thrown, is 6.73 uh, meters per second. So uh, just keep in mind how we did this problem. All we did was uh, we knew we had to subtract the time that it took to come back, right? So we had to calculate that using the speed of sound. Um, and then we were just able to use this basic formula, distance equals velocity times time. Um, once we had the time, it just becomes pretty easy. Um, and yeah, so 
Uh, this right here is going to be your answer to this problem. And hopefully you found this video useful.